Hello, welcome to Cypress Automation. This is Sureful. This tutorial, we're going to see how to create environment variables in Cypress. So it means environment variable. If you're familiar with the automation world, so definitely you know it. The so environment variable, it's uh, like a global variable. So it has a value and key. So you can set set up those global variable in your automation framework in such a way so that you know those global variable you can use or call any one of your test cases since it's a global variable so you can call or use any one of the global variable in your test cases anywhere where you need other than uh, you know hardcore those global variable or values you know in your test cases the benefit is that like if it's a you know reusable uh, global variable you know it's so you don't have to hard code everywhere and also you can have a control on your global variables value so anytime you can change those values it will all you know automatically will reflect all the test cases being used to those global variable right so let's see uh, one of the you know uh, example very simple example in uh, uh, you know in a real case so we're back to our um, VS code so here uh, we're going to you know um, write where first is where you're going to write your global variable or environment variable so you are going to open your Cypress JSON file and you are going to write all of your you know variables global variables or environment variables some of your uh, settings you can write over here uh, interestingly uh, here you can see you know Cypress is comes with its own default setup or settings example if you see over here configuration those are all you know uh, the default settings so if you want to override any one of the default setup you know uh, you can do it you know you have say example page load timeout it's a six seconds if you want to make it say 10 seconds you can do it at that time what do you have to do you have to just you know write this you know the same uh, uh, settings in your Cypress JSON file over here you know and your Cypress.json files you know uh, the setups will get the high part will get the override you know compared to your default so here is one of the you know I used before so I types uh, you know I use this environment uh, I mean uh, the default setups you know override the default setups condition now in terms of your environment variable you know this is the place where you're going to write so it's, it has a two format one is you know key another one is value the same thing to do environment variable since it's environment variable it's like a custom uh, you know uh, variables you are going to write so that time the way you are going to type you are going to so you are going to type this way so first you know you will give a you know um, the environment is a key okay your key would be name is environment say env env is the key of your you know this is the key and then clone and then you are make some body here let's put it here here so this is your key so the format is like key value but it, since you know this is a custom that's why your env would be the key this is the key now it's a value would be your, your variable name as well as the the, the value of the variable it, it will trade it's a as a key you know the value of your a key for this so here is a so what is the value say one of the very famous uh, uh, you know environment variable it's a URL like base URL your application URL because you know uh, as you know when you uh, you know perform your automation you know uh, you, nowadays you have to perform in different environment say your uh, QA environment your staging environment or your or your you know release candidate environment so how you know they run all the test cases in a different environment all they need to you know run or change their base URL environment is just you know the different URL but your test case is, is going to be the, exactly the same your test code is going to be same so when you change your environment URL it will you know trade is you know that specific environment say you know QA or staging environment so so this is the central place where you can just change your base URL or your uh, uh, environment URL 
it will automatically you know run you all the test cases on that specific environment so it's it makes life so very easy that you don't have to create separate project for a separate you know uh, separate environment so you just change your basic URL you know it will run on that specific environment so here what is the so you know your the 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 value would be you know two part one is the name and it's the actual value of this name right so your what our value is for URL so this is the URL you are going to type URL so environment and then environment section you are creating a section like environment so now you are giving a one value it's you know its name is URL and what's the actual URL value let's put our base application value so one of our previous uh, example like page scroll JS over here we use this is the the code in box automation lab dot com this is our actual URL or base URL for the application so let's pass it over here okay so that's the simple it's very simple so uh, over here since we're using more than one so we have to give a comma so now it's the environment you know variable or global variable and and this is the you know actual you know name of this global variable and this is the value of the name okay so save it make sure you save it yep so now how you're going to call this URL this environment variable right how you're going to call it in your actual test cases right so let's see let's go to the, our page scroll JS file over here so right now in this test cases we you know ran our uh, uh, we load our page ha by hard coding right so we said a uh, see you visit we did that you know hard code the URL other than how we're going to you know call let's call that right so we can call that environment variable or URL you know the global variable over here uh, rather than hard coding the you actual URL so we'll say cy same visit cy visit and here to call your global variable or environment variable you know from just a, a cypress json file so you're going it's it's a you, you know where it is it is it, this file it's you know a, underneath your actual you know your cypress uh, project so you are going to use cypress keyword dot then you can see your env this environment you know this section environment uh, this you know the variable it's already available so click on environment so cypress you are seeing you know call the environment and uh, what's the name of the environment variable so you are going to pass up here right and there you are going to pass like this way what's the name url right make sure you type the exactly the same way url url right so pass this over here url that's it this is very simple right so this this will do the exactly the same we did over here so it means we're calling cypress environment variable Oh, and and the name of the environment variable which is the URL and URL is nothing the value of URL like this you know the code in box automation lab dot com so it will be automatically over here and we're wrapping up that URL you know by this visit you know function so it means it will load that URL in your you know in, uh, when you run the script right simply and also one more uh, a use case of environment variable we're going to see example you know we have so this is the application right and we have to go example one of our test cases there's another test case where we have to go practice page so practice page is nothing it's like you know the extension of your base URL so your base URL then a concatenation or plus this practice right so this is that then it will be come to here so if we have to do any practice in your test cases in this page how we're going to you know visit this load this page through the environment uh, uh, your global variable the way it is so you know one of our example also like you know the chaining spec file over here if you haven't see those any you know uh, video please watch those tutorial you know first and then come to this video so chaining a uh, spec file over here we use you can see the practice page right codeinbox.com slash practice page so instead of 
hard coding over here this way we're going to use our global variable and I will do a concatenation uh, you know for with the practice so we're going to do the exactly the same thing we did over here just copy this so we're calling same way so loading the same you know base URL and then plus use a concatenation sign and then plus and what's the you know the subset of your base URL that you know we need so this this will this this means it will it's up to here right code box.com up to here so just extra part of subset is missing is this practice slash practice so just copy the slash practice part and then do the concordation part here okay that should be very simple I think that's it should save it make sure you save it all the files save it right so now run it let's uh, run through our okay let's run it through our uh, test runner okay. npm sci open okay so test runner loaded uh, so what's the two spec file one is page scroll another one's chaining so let's go to the page scroll and chaining right page scroll okay loading the side here you can see this already you know where this uh, URL comes from because in our page scroll we did a hard code it comes from our environment variable through our environment variable you see so it works you know so you can use directly environment variable uh, uh, or global variable in your test cases as well as you can use that global variable with the concatenation with the concatenation means in our chaining example we use this plus right over here we use this the plus practice page so it's supposed to load the code and box automation lab dot com slash practice this this URL let's you know let's run it awesome. let's run it chaining uh, okay chaining spec file here you go you can see already codeandbox.com slash the practice you see it's loaded the practice page and it did the you know the the test cases whatever the test cases it was so I'm not going to explain the test cases the main you know uh, the objective of this tutorial to see how you can create the environment variable and the use case in your test cases you know either directly or you can use it with a concatenation so this is very simple idea but it's very effective to build a robust uh, you know framework so I hope that you understood that and uh, you know in future we're going to use this uh, you know create the environment variable and we're going to use it in our framework you know in our upcoming uh, tutorial thanks a lot have a good one and uh, stay tuned to watch the next tutorial bye bye